At Ohio, Governor John Kasich becomes the 16th Republican candidate for president. Nine on your side's Tom McKee was in Columbus today where Kasich's straightforward approach caught even political veterans like George Stephanopoulos by surprise. We are going to take the lessons of the heartland and straighten out Washington, D.C. and fix our country. Ohio Governor John Kasich's presidential campaign began in Columbus with words that he hopes will separate him from the 15 other GOP nominee hopefuls. But the sun is rising, and the sun is going to rise to the zenith in America again. I promise you it will happen. He talked about values to hundreds at the Ohio State University Union, especially the need to restore personal responsibility. My mother used to say that it is a sin not to help somebody who needs help, but it's equally a sin to continue to help somebody who needs to learn how to help themselves. That's the take of George Stephanopoulos of ABC News, who listened to the case speech in person. And it appears authentic, and I think that could help him a lot over the course uh, of a campaign. And I gotta say, as someone who's covered a lot of these, it was refreshing to see it done in a diff different way. Experience and plain talk are Governor Kasich's calling cards to try and broaden the GOP party base. Party leaders say he hit a home run. He's gonna talk about what Americans wanna hear about. That's rebuilding our military and growing jobs in this country. Uh, uh, this, this election changed today. The light of a city on a hill cannot be hidden America is that city, and you are that light. God bless you, and God bless America. Governor Kasich is now off to New Hampshire, where he hopes to use his speech here as a springboard to getting in the top 10 of GOP nominees so he can participate in the debates that start August 6th. Tom McKean, on your side, Columbus.